Hello guys, Cameron Red one here bringing you another episode of Farming Fridays. We're back on the farm again guys, which means it is another Friday. And we are ready to work. Now, today is the day that probably most of you have been waiting for. We are finally doing the sugar beet. Field of 25 slash 30. But first of all, we need our Holland topper to remove the top, and then our barley just growing nicely, and our wheat is coming along over there. First of all, we need to get this going, and I'm actually going to attach it to the back. And I think this tractor just looks a perfect size for it. Okay, and we'll lower it down, turn it on, and we'll get going. Removing all the tops of the sugar beet, leaving just the crops. There we go. It's just the crop ready to be harvested. What I I'm going to remove all the top and then hopefully if we have time I'm going to start harvesting them today if we don't we'll start that process in the next episode but if you didn't see me plant these the other day I highly recommend you go check that video out Oh, it was a great video to make. I first joined field 25 and 30 together using a plow. And then I went around and cultivated the whole field. And then I went and sowed it all with sugar beet. And I just think this field is a great field for a crop like sugar beet. Or like potatoes even though I absolutely hate them and for some reason just can't do them. The reason I can't do potatoes to be honest is, is just the, the texture between when the need harvesting and when they've been harvested isn't obvious enough for me to be able to tell that I've done out so I get confused as to where I've been and where I need to go so I just find it easier to just leave them. I'm just going to make sure I get all the leaves because otherwise you'll be wasting crop. And I know it doesn't matter too much because you've got such a large field, but I just want to see how much you get overall without wasting any. So all this is doing guys if you don't know um, what it's doing it's basically just removing the top of it so like the leaves so it's easy to dig them out of the ground and the tool I'm using is called a hole and topper so that makes the job nice and easy and as you can see there in the ground you've got all like the, sh the bulbs of sugar beet that need harvesting and taking out the ground ready to be sold and I'm not sure but I'm sure sugar beet can be used in like food of some sort or I'm not sure I'm not sure what they use it for but it's a really fun crop to make and to do I 
and we'll just hit that a little bit there. We'll head back around. Okay, and we'll head back down as we come close to the first lap around the field. Turn around. Don't want to miss any of the crop out. Okay, and we'll continue down here. I'd also like to do a crop in this field of maybe like wheat or something. Like, imagine how much wheat you get from this. It's like a, a great big harvest to do, so I may do that sometime in the future as well. Okay guys, so there's one lap around of the M2 that was missed there. And we'll head back around on our second lap. And we're not doing too badly at all to be honest. Okay, so hopefully by the end of this episode or the next episode, and we'll be able to start harvesting all of these little bulbs in the ground and collecting the sugar beet. And as I said in the last episode, I'm going to put it into storage and then hopefully sell it at a later date in a larger quantity and hopefully get quite a large sum of money for it. And two there. I don't want to miss any.
Okay, guys, so we are getting a large amount done rather quickly. The sugar beet is actually a really fun crop to do, guys, because it's like most of the crops you that are just plant them, grow them, and then cut them. Whereas this, you've got to grow them, then you've got to remove the tops off them before you can harvest them. So, just, so you feel like you're sort of harvesting them twice if you get what I mean. So it's a fun crop to do, and you do get quite a lot of of crop from it to be honest so I personally enjoy doing sugar beet myself but hopefully we should be done very soon it's 8.47 in the morning and it's very sunny so I decided to get up nice and early and get the job done obviously it's not actually 8.47 in the day it's uh, actually 10 past 12 in the afternoon and I'm recording this and it is sunny actually outside but on the game it is 10 to 9 in the morning and we are up nice and early to do this harvest or topping what you call it As I said, it's not taking too long at all, to be honest. Okay, and... We'll just turn it around. and we're nearly two laps around the field now, so we're not doing too bad. Oh, we've got something missing there. Get them. Okay, and we'll okay, I'm going to just one there. Yep, there we go, we got it. That's our, I think, our third lap now round that we're starting. Oh, and, and we'll get that one. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, and they've just been some stuff and missed the one there. And get that. Can't go missing any. You think we're getting most done, and then you look up and you realise you've still got absolutely loads to do. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry on to about 20 minutes, and then I'll do the rest off camera because I know it is very repetitive, guys, guys, and it's fun to watch for about 20 minutes, but then eventually after that, it starts to get irritating and I know my eyes are beginning to go cross-eyed just looking at all these little dots of, like the dots of dot puzzles or something and it's getting that very confusing so I'll just carry on going up till about 20 minutes long and then I'll stop there and do the rest off camera and then in the next video we will be harvesting the little bulbs in the ground and seeing how much we get in terms of amount to put in storage. As I said, we'll carry on for about two more minutes and then we will stop. Okay, and we're nearly there now, guys. So we'll just finish up. Okay, and just missed one there. So I am going to actually end it here guys, so I am going to do the rest off camera, but hopefully you have enjoyed, and remember to go like, comment and subscribe for more fun weekly uploads, but that's been the end of today's video guys, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next week, bye for now.